Okay, we're going to finish up the campus travel assignment here. We have done all the parts up to and including part six. Our forms and displays all seem to work. And our last step, part seven, is to add some HTML navigation and to add some sort of home page. If we look at our website now, we see that the home page, our home page contains nothing really and uh, it'd be nice to add some um, one line navigation menus to all of our pages so uh, to do that let's get started uh, for each page uh, we're going to add a single line navigation menu containing uh, the main campus travel page add agent agent bookings add sale and search sales uh, we're not going to include database tables. We don't really need to, uh, as long as database tables is ex is accessible from the WordPress menu, which it is. Here. So uh, to create a link, we add an a a tags to surround the text that we want to link. So, for example, the at if we were to make add agent here a link, we would add this in front of it, which says link to the add agent page if you click here. And then this is what ends the, the, uh, the link. So, uh, and we assume that we're, we are on our, uh, uh, that we're that we're are on our own website, so we don't need to prefix this with our domain. Similarly, with search sales here, we would put this. We would surround the word search sales with these a tags to make this a link to search sales. For home, we don't really have a page. You'll you'll notice that uh, this is our home page. It's not a uh, so we don't need to put anything. However, on our website, since we have installed WordPress in a subdirectory, we are going to have to prefix all of our links with the, the WordPress direct, directory that we created. Here. So <clears throat> let's start out by creating our, and this here is what warns us about that. So let's start by creating uh, a single line menu like this on the Campus Travel homepage. We can actually just start by copying this. This is sort of set up for us here. We have the homepage, the ad agent, agent bookings, ad sale, and search sales, and each of these links is separated by a vertical bar. It's going to end up looking like this here. So let's just copy this copy and let's go to our campus travel page here and uh, let's paste this down here paste and so it looks like this we're in text mode and we click update and we view this page we see these nice links here uh, they don't work though because when we click on the home page, for example, we get to our home, our root, our web root, which is not where we want to be. We actually want to be down here. Same with that agent. This goes nowhere because we need to put our, our subdirectory, our WordPress directory there. So let's, uh, edit this, these links here. Let's put WordPress slash WordPress in front of all of them. So I'm just going to copy this here. Copy. And I'm going to paste it. Uh, I'm going to paste it one here. Paste. I'm going to paste one here. I'm going to paste one here. And I'm going to paste one here. So now you see that before ad agent is WordPress, before agent bookings is WordPress, 
before add sale is WordPress, and before search sales is also WordPress. Now when we update this page and we view it, we have these links here and uh, this does in fact go to add agent. Uh, agent bookings goes to agent bookings. And sale goes to add sale. And search sales goes to search sales. So the links all work. Very good. So now we've got this at the bottom. We have tested everything. So now, uh, before we copy this to all the rest of the pages, let's add an introduction menu, uh, in, an introduction menu to the Campus Travel homepage. So let's, um, we're going to take, let's take this menu here. Let me edit the page. And I'm going to take this menu here. I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to enter this a couple times. And I'm going to paste this so it looks like that. And I'm going to just put these on different lines here. So I've got the links now, enter, and uh, so I've got these, delete, enter, and so I've got home, ad agent, agent bookings, ad sale, and search sales. Let me just update this and see what this looks like. We see this looks like this, and so I'm going to add some text in front of here. Let's see, I can make it look like uh, add to add a new agent, click here to display sales summary, to display sale, add agent. Uh, let's go back here. And uh, for the home, uh, I don't need a link home. I might have to delete this link. And here I'm going to say to add a new agent to the database, click add agent. Uh, let's see, in front of this I can put to display a summary for each agent, click space agent bookings. For here I'm going to put to add a new sale. Click here. And uh, for the last one here I'll put to search sales by agent destination or amount. Click Now when I update this page and I view it, I see that it looks like this. Welcome to the Campus Travel Company Intranet. To add a new agent, you can click here. Uh, it works. To uh, agent bookings is here. And uh, add sale. And uh, here, if we click here, we search sales. Okay, very good. Now I'm going to copy this menu onto all the rest of my pages. So I'm going to go back here to edit page and I'm going to copy this copy onto the rest of my pages. So let me click view page. Uh, let's go to the the uh, Let's go to the Add Agent page and uh, click Edit. And uh, down below here, I'm going to just paste and update. And now we see that this is on the Add Agent page. We can go to Agent Bookings. And let's uh, paste this at the top easier to get at. So I'm going to 
enter twice and it should be still in my clipboard and there it is Click update and now when I view the page we see I've got the menu up at the top here so I'm going to quickly do this for the rest of the pages speed this up <laughs> And now we've got the menu on all the pages. The last thing we need to do is for each page we need to remove the link to that page from the menu that's on that page. So for example, the ad sale on the ad sale page, the menu would actually look like this where ad sale is not a link. So to do that, uh, we go to each page. On the home page, for example, we remove the A tags around the word home. On the ad agent page, for example, we remove the A tags around the word ad agent, and so on for the rest of the pages in the menu. So let's go here. Let's start with the home page and scroll down and let's remove the link here. Edit and remove before and after click update view fine but let's go to add agent right here we want to edit and in add agent we want to remove the a tag before and after add agent Let's do this page and agent bookings. Edit. Move the A tag four and after update and one more. We go to oh two more we need to add sale. Let's remove this. And that is add sale, so let's remove A tag for and after and sale. And the last one is search sales. We edit this and we a tags surrounding search results. And now that we've done that, I think we we have finished the links. And we are done with our campus travel website.